Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is the Piggy Award, going out jointly to Denver's KUSA TV station and the Winter Park uh, Ski Area, whose PR director put on a tinfoil hat to mock the UFO phenomenon after a UFO was spotted on webcam. His name is Steve Hurlbert. And if you're saying that it's February Sweeps, TV station Colorado recently featured a segment on UFO sighting at ski resort that is sure to raise the ire of Flying Saucer fans. You think? Denver's KUSA dispatcher field reporter Matt Renault to Winter Park Ski Area where reports PR resorts PR director responded to a MUFON report from someone who was found an anomalous flying object on a webcam watching the mountain. Unfortunately, the public relations guru opted to talk about the case while wearing a tinfoil hat so everyone can be sure he didn't take the story seriously at all. We know through our own research that aliens really love snow, Steve Hurlbert cleverly quipped to U KUSA. After the feature detailed the admittedly strange rumors that the mountain is actually an alien base, various skiers shared their thoughts on what the UFO might have been. Two visitors dismissed the sign as either garbage bag or a drone, while one skier expressed belief in UFOs before laughing because, of course, that's just crazy. Wrap, wrapping things up for now, he appeared on screen clad in his own tinfoil hat and wielded lightsaber, pushing the ridiculousness of the entire report all the way to 11. What makes KUSA segment particularly disheartening is that the station never bothered to enlist a meteorologist, a skeptic, or anyone who may have been able to explain or offer a suggestion for what the UFO might have been. Instead, they simply mocked the very idea of UFOs in textbook example of the infamous giggle factor that has plagued serious research of the enigma since it burst on the scene decades ago. While any honest researcher will admit the phenomenon is rife with absurdities, worthy of a good chuckle, in the case of KUSA's coverage, they clearly opted for a laugh at UFO enthusiasts rather than with them, which is a disappointment. It's also unfortunate that indication that in an increasingly sensitive world, there's apparently still one group that's okay to make fun of UFO buffs. That's just lovely. I'll see if I can find the uh, UFO in the video and we'll show that briefly. Okay, you can see in the inset, this basically looks like a black blob. Uh, not a lot to see here. It's not a bird, it's not a plane. It's not a Chinese lantern. Lantern, obviously not. Garbage bag? Come on, that's a cop out. Well, we have another unidentified sighting. But the real story is that these idiots are sitting here mocking this. 
making a subject that they don't know anything about. That's how science is done nowadays. Unfortunately, in a lot of cases. Well, this isn't science, so this is how journalism is done in lots of cases today. Dismiss, mock, so on and so forth. I shouldn't have said science. Sorry about that. So anyway, a piggy award goes out to the Winter Park Ski Area and KUSA. And we'll take one quick look at their radio station, a uh, TV station. Here's the uh, actual story. It was UFO spot over Winter Park. NBC, nothing but communism. What do you expect? Actually, the communists were more honest about the subject than we were. Well, there you have it. Piggy Award goes out to this TV station in Winter Park uh, Resort area for just being out and out ugly on the subject. I don't know how else to put it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.